Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Piper Report. So James Comey is officially under investigation for handling of classified information. And well, he should be under investigation for a lot more than that. Now, for those who forgot, I will kind of go over some of the illicit activities, or if not illicit, unethical activities that James Comey has done these past couple of years. All of this stuff I've covered in previous videos of mine way in the past, so if you've been a subscriber of me for a while, this is kind of just a repeat of what you already know, but bear with me. First off, he wrote the memo exonerating Hillary Clinton months before the investigation was through and months before he interviewed Hillary herself, and not only Hillary, but her associates. And to top it off, Comey himself didn't even interview her. He had his associates interview her for him. This man, who's supposed to be leading the investigation, refuses to actually interview the person being investigated. Then, he lied under oath about this. During the congressional hearing, this is the video I have on my channel, um, I can't remember exactly what the title is. I think it's James Comey Perjures Himself, so you should be able to find it. I'll probably look for it. I'll post it in the comments or in description, but in it... He's asked by a representative when he decided to exonerate Hillary. And he said he didn't make up his mind about her guilt or innocence until after she was interviewed. Well, we know now that this was indeed a lie because he wrote the memo exonerating her months before she was even interviewed. He cannot make that claim. He cannot say that he made up his mind after she was interviewed, but at the same time have one memo, only one memo, exonerating her. It's not like he made two memos, one exonerating her and one admitting her guilt. No, he made one, which means he already had that preconceived notion in the back of his mind that no matter what he found, she was going to be innocent of that. I mean, how bad is that? Then he did his little press conference where he completely exonerating her, but what he did, he changed some of the words in there. He changed some of the words and in a memo too, from negligent to extremely careless. Well, why? Why would James Comey do this? It is because if he used the word negligent in his press conference and in his memo exonerating her, then that means that a future administration would have grounds to basically indict her because gross negligence is indeed a crime. But surprisingly, so <laughs> reckless or what was it? Supremely reckless or carelessly reckless? Something like extremely reckless. I don't know. It was something like that. Extremely careless. That's what it was. Extremely careless isn't actually a crime. So he changed that with the help of Peter Stork, of course, Peter Stork and Lisa Page, who are infamous for their anti-Trump text messages that was happening during the investigation and that was happening during the Mueller probe. But yeah, I mean, right there alone, I think that should really, really give you some insight into him. And then he also made secret memos regarding his conversations with President Trump at the time. This is illegal because executive privilege is invoked. And not only did he do that and made the memo, he leaked the memo to a reporter. And his reasoning, which he admitted to under oath, was to get an investigation into Donald Trump. He leaked a private conversation. He wrote a memo about a private conversation he had with the president, and he leaked it to a reporter so Robert Mueller could be involved and investigate Donald Trump. That is insanely, insanely reckless. That is illegal in every sense of the word. And he did it. And he did it. And to be honest... During the investigation, Andrew McCabe was also involved, and Andrew McCabe should have been forced to recuse himself because he and his wife have ties with the Clintons. And not only that, Clint, or Comey himself actually has ties with the Clintons. For those who don't know, Comey's brother, Peter, worked for a law firm called DLA Piper. That law firm worked for the Clinton Foundation. Or rather, they, they were a lawyer for the Clinton Foundation. He also, Comey used to work for Lockheed Martin, was what, which was a subsidiary for the Clinton Global Initiative. So there are many ties with Hillary Clinton. And that is why when I see people trying to defend Comey and saying he investigated Hillary honestly, that 
she's just innocent. That's why she was found not guilty. That's why she was exonerated. It just makes me mad because, no, she is not not guilty. She is completely guilty of all the crimes she has been accused of. And Comey himself is complicit in the cover-up. Comey himself should be behind bars. But people love him now because, well, he is the one. Mind you, he is the one that caused this investigation. He is the one that incited this Robert Mueller investigation. And he even admitted to it in open court. But to be honest, he should be charged. If anything, he should be charged with perjury. Because he perjured himself for sure. I actually have video proof on my channel during his congressional hearing where he admitted he did not make up his mind about Hillary's exoneration until after she was interviewed. And then a leaked memo came out later, after the fact, that proved the complete opposite. That he himself wrote a memo exonerating her months before she and her associates were interviewed. And not only that, let's talk about the actual uh, interview itself. Like I mentioned, he wasn't there, but who was there was Cheryl Mills, who was also under investigation and who actually had to testify in front of the FBI, who was interrogated by the FBI. She was allowed into the Clinton interrogation, and she was also allowed to be Clinton's lawyer. What that means that is that when the FBI asked Clinton a question, she could have said, one sec, let me speak with my lawyer, or let me speak with my client. And then she probably could have told Hillary, okay, they asked me the same thing. You know what I did? I told them this, so tell them this. Then Hillary Clinton will say exactly the same thing. Comey did everything he could to make sure Hillary Clinton would not be indicted. This was the sloppiest investigation that has ever been run at the federal level. This is insanely sloppy. Trey Gowdy was freaking out over this. Many prosecutors were freaking out over this. You do not allow two people being investigated to sit in each other's interviews and then interview them separately after that. That is how they get their story straight. And you definitely don't allow a lawyer under investigation to be a lawyer of a client who's being under investigation. It's just, I'm sure I'm missing a lot more, but these are the things I remember on top of my head. So I hope, I hope James Comey gets charged with something. He should get charged with perjury for sure, but I hope he does. Whether or not he will is open for discussion. I'm not really convinced. If there's one thing we have learned over the years is that there are two rule, two types of laws. Those the elite have to abide by. Those that everyone else has to abide by. Some people are thinking this is the end of Hillary Clinton. That now she's going to be brought into this. And, once, and finally she's going to be charged with her crimes. They are clinging to false hope. Hillary Clinton will not be indicted. Although I want her to be indicted, she won't be indicted. If she would have, it would have happened by now. I know there was a big push some months ago too when more stuff was breaking, especially the um, the Nunes memo. People are saying, oh, this is it for Hillary. She's going to be investigated again. She's going to be indicted. It never happened, and it won't happen. Sadly, she is too powerful, and I don't think Trump wants anything to do with her. That includes investigating her. I think it's wrong. I think he should. I think Jeff Sessions should get off his ass and investigate her. I think Jeff Sessions actually stepped down and Trey Gowdy should be nominated for attorney general. But I guess that's just my opinion. But yeah, it's at least if we can get Comey at least for breaking the law, which he admitted to doing, if we can get Comey to break in the law, that is a step in the right direction. Hopefully Hillary would get indicted as well, but it won't happen, but we can always hope so. With that, breaking news, I'm happy to see it. Let's hope, let's hope more comes out of it. And I'm done.